Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Like we never left, we are back uh, for the CIU Rams blue team. I am joined by the one, the only Crab Clown Jimmy, a.k.a. Coach Chris. Happy to be with you, Coach. How are you doing this evening? I'm so ready, man. Blue team coming off a of game five in their first match of the night. Uh, did not go their way, but they're looking to bounce back, and we are so here for it, are we not? Absolutely, man. We've seen some great things from all of these guys, especially Timex Trickshot coming from what was the gold team and now on the blue team, being a leader, being that captain of this squad. And we are so happy he's part of our program. Julian with a good corner play here, dropping it right in front of goal. Silent Wolf says no. JJ bringing it back in, only to get booted. Will Timex do anything? No, past him. Julian's there. Slow fall on goal, Silent Wolf for the redirect. And those demos on the goal line are so important. Every time you see that happen, that's probably going to be a counterattack opportunity. JJ with a good pass mid, hoping to carry it a little further. Gets beat. Julian waiting patiently on the ground. Shake and bake from Timex there. Slow shot on goal. Timex waiting patiently for it. Who's this? Geeb. Challenge lost to JJ. And a pass downfield. Silent Wolf will collect and redirect again. Here comes Julian for the pass play. All three up. A risky play. Unless they can fall in front Ooh. of goal. Good rotations back, too. We see Julian there getting the first person. Oh, and front post. Unfortunate, but hey, we bounce back. Only a minute ha or only a minute and a half has gone by. At this point, these teams are learning to acclimate to one another. We are hoping yep. to learn some rotation patterns. Who is their main attacker and how to compensate for that? We have to play fast. We have to play aggressive. Our boys know this. Coming off of a loss earlier tonight, the first of the second in this double header this evening. They are already loose and warm. They've been talking, they've been warming up. All they need to do here is lock in in the bottom half of this game. Big boom forward. Time X will challenge and win. Julian for the pass mid, overtaken. JJ keeping it in. I think, that, Coach, that's going to be a, a big uh, point tonight is uh whenever the ball is in a dangerous situation i say it so often on stream i know you hear me uh whenever the ball is in a dangerous situation keep it dangerous make sure your opponent is having to rotate and you're affecting your opponent that's well said glitch so many of these plays revolve so heavily around boost management and keeping the pressure in the opposing team's half if you can get a rotation oh no Perhaps a poor input read there on Timex's part for a second goal. But if you can get the pressure high in the opponent's half, you can steal their boost. You put them in a desperate situation. If you can prolong that, you can get the goals you need to get a good head start. At this point, your CIU Rams down by two with two minutes remaining. Here we go, Julian trying to get something started here. Let's see if he can prevent a clear. He's affecting his opponent, that's for sure. Timex there, ready to count, get a counterattack going. Some good pressure here from Ashland. Ooh. I am Sheev there to capitalize 
on just a small opening. He played hard, he played fast, he played forward, and he seized that opportunity. I didn't realize it, but there was a little bit of an own goal there in the desperation mm -hmm. to save that. Yeah, it's unfortunate. You know, you're in the right place at the wrong time, as they say, but uh, JJ was doing his job there. An unfortunate timing issue, but hey, <laughs> oh man, Julian makes up for it. <laughs> Let's go, boys. Seconds Trying. are precious in this game. A play can turn in five seconds. It can turn in three seconds. Opponents, we can win a goal on kickoff. If you have a minute and nine seconds left, there's still plenty of Rocket League to be played tonight. Oh, definitely. And, you know, it is a best of five series. So even if they do drop this game one, like you said earlier on, they are learning their opponent. They are going to have their adjustments ready for game two. And at this point in the series, either they can get a goal or learn more about their opponent. That's all the merrier. That was a nervous play right there. A little bit of a double commit. A lot of heavy bumping here. Aggressive play from Ashland. I am sleeve. I am sheave rather. Losing the 50 to JJ. Julian trying to keep the play in, in motion here. Oh, it's getting interesting. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> a great Big goal demo. from JJ. Yep, big demo on the return home from Julian, distracting the team. JJ closing the door. They left it a little open for him. Yep, they look. I think they they were looking to rotate forward a little too early. JJ said, "Not so fast, my friend." A wide shot there. Almost a double touch. Ooh. Sheev, there to seize an opportunity. Yeah, and that goes to your point that kickoffs are important. You can score a goal based off of a kickoff and um, when you fall asleep a little too early get ahead of yourself things come come at you pretty fast so bounce back let's get the next goal a lost kickoff there from jj just to further edify the point now jj is known for a very strong ground game one of the tricks that you'll see him pull out here in just a little bit shot on goal from jj deflected from ashland 10 seconds remaining what can we make happen here Keeping it up. CIU does not want this to happen 4 to 2. They would say, show me a 4 to 3 any day of the week. But unfortunately, Ashland will take the first game 4 to 2 in our best of five. But don't worry. These boys are known for going to game five. They will not be swept. They work hard. They grind hard. And they do their very, very best to get back into the game. You're looking at your scoreboard here. Your MVP for Ashland, 505, Sheev. Three goals, one saves, three shots, one demo, and no less than 32 touches. So going back to your point of who we might need to isolate, who we might need to cut out of the game, and I am Sheev is looking like that guy for game two. He did capitalize on a lot of opportunities. Barring yeah. one own goal, he was there to close the door if they had left it open at all. Game two starts right now, and it's a great start for CIU. Can they capitalize? Unfortunately, they can't, but good things coming from that kickoff. Aggressive play. You already see them playing faster. They're already playing smarter. Sometimes it just takes one to lock in, and that's true of the very best everywhere. Certainly true of your CIU Esports Rams tonight. Careful, we're a little awkward there. They do give a little clear. We have JJ, watch him. Here comes the ground game. Bumped off the play, unfortunately. Timex punishing them for bumping a buddy. JJ being disciplined, we love to see that. Timex trick shot gonna win his 1v1, get, setting JJ up for a good pass opportunity. Rams a little slow to the play there. That was a slow falling ball in front of goal with no one stopping it. Will JJ fix it? He's looking to contest it, and he does. It stays in the corner. Time X seizing an opportunity. Here comes a slow fall mid goal. One more back pass. Unfortunately, over JJ's head, Julian will collect and keep it in. Silent Wolf probably for the big clear here. 
an odd double touch from that team. Not sure if that was helpful or a mistake, but a big clear from Wolf. Suddenly, Ashland finds himself very awkward. Back on the aggressive play here. Timex booming to the corner, giving the ball away just a little bit. JJ faking. Julian for a soft touch and a clear. JJ challenging left. One thing I've noticed, Coach, is how, how many 1v1 opportunities right now the, 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 the Rams are setting up and they're winning probably 90% of them. Just like right there, JJ <laughs> getting a 1v1 and scoring. Watch well, our boys get that. started. A gentle pass off the back wall, and JJ read it like a book. Went ahead and sent that ball home, bringing our game one to one, two minutes, 47 seconds remaining. And that's a good thing because we saw last game, CIU did not score first. And usually, statistically, as the commentator's curse comes through, <laughs> uh, the team that scores, scores first is the winner of the of the game. But um, got to take it one step at a time right now. You see the sarcastic comments. This is Rocket League. Every, every single game, it feels like something weird just happens in this game. And that was, that was a good kickoff goal from time. <laughs> the ball <X>. does not <laughs> lie. <laughs> like ping pong back and forth. But that was that was a good a good fake from Sheev on that last goal for Ashland. He did a solid deliver. He followed the ball in the air looking for the second touch, and the team read that second touch, but he faked. They sailed past it, and it flew in as slow as humanly possible. A one kickoff there. Timex cheating up a little too close, perhaps. Julian popping it to corner to keep the ball out of play. Here comes JJ's groundwork. Ooh. So right now, if I'm CIU, and I am casting with the coach here, but if I'm CIU, it's all about game management. Take the chances when you can get them. Go for more if the opportunity presents itself. But you got to focus on some rotations right now. You do. Even players at this level glitch, and you know this, players at this level can make simple fundamental mistakes, and their opponents of equal stature know how to punish those mistakes. If you get out of rotation, if you fall in front of goal, awkward if you rotate ball side here's a good touch a little wide will JJ capitalize backboard and again big clear there from Ashland is it on Julian will help but yes fundamental errors are punished with goals at this level our boys know what to avoid but sometimes sometimes the brain just turns off for just two seconds which is all it takes to get out of rotation and they're in rotation right now as Tomex has a shot on goal. Let's go, Bobby. <laughs> <Bumped him laughs> off. Very good job from Tomex. Julian with the counterattack opportunity. He starts it. He does get his the, the assist. Tomex saw the opportunity. An early shot. Made sure to put it on goal. And it went into the back of the net. Giving the 3-1 lead with a minute 20 seconds remaining. We like to see this. Was that a gentle fake? What was that kickoff? What was that? <laughs> it looked like he tried to speed flip right at the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say he did it on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> Big score oh, right here, man. Julian. This, you, you can tell at this point, Coach, that they're having fun. They're having their way with their opponent, lack of a better term, and they are having fun going at the net at will. Big kick off there from JJ. Julian looking to capitalize in the corner here. One more touch. Sets it up. Who will take it? Oh, but JJ. Man. <laughs> you love to see this, man. They this are is a different game glitch. An entirely it, different game. It is. And it, it's similar for those who are in the chats that watched the game earlier today, uh, earlier tonight, the gold team. You know, we saw the Bearcats go at the Rams. They had, they found the space. But game two, or game three, the Rams made their adjustments, and we're seeing some adjustments be made right now from the blue team. Julian with a corner play. 
Ooh, a miss on the clear, but JJ will fix it with a shot on goal, no less. Off backboard, who can help? Ashland will get the clear. Shot on goal from Time X. Julian looking to capitalize on that, but contested by Silent Wolf. Losing possession again. Big play here from JJ. Pass mid, who's there? Ooh, a risky shot on goal. This might go in. Mm. Sheev getting credit for a minor mistake. That is one negative aspect of having such a good ground game as JJ. He does have good ball control, but when you out rotate your teammates, your, your teammates are looking for an inside pass or they're out of rotational position. That is a kind of a negative aspect that sometimes is you're just setting up the opponent for a, a clean shot on goal. But hey, they did their job earlier in this game. Make it five to two going into game three. And game two will go to your CIU Esports Rams. Go Rams! Absolutely charge on, baby. As, a, as the scoreboard comes up, we see that um, the game two's MVP is Julian with one goal, three assists, two saves. But look at the numbers all around. It was a team effort in game two. Now, Glitch, I have the pleasure of coaching this team, and I'm currently sitting in the arena with them. And it's just a different spirit. When these boys lock in, Rocket League Blue has some of the most fun when they are competing in these matches, I hear them start talking sarcastically to each other. They're cutting jokes to each other. They know how to have a good time while they are winning. For sure. And to touch on that, as game uh, three begins, touch on that. You know, esports e is not like any other sport. We we know that. That's why we love it. It's it's unique. But as JJ gets a goal, what a <laughs> great way to start this game. Um. Explain to those watching at home that you are the coach, you are managing this team, but you are not giving them tactics right now. You are casting this game with me. Can you kind of go into that and enlighten on what the coach to player relationship is uh, for any esport? Well, let's take a moment and celebrate goal. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Four minutes, 44 seconds remaining. Time X just punishing an open net. Look at this glitch. No one is back there. And Ashland knows better. We saw Ashland playing a different game in game one. They made a tiny mistake, and our good players did capitalize on that. Now, to answer your question, as head coach of CIU Rams Esports, it, it, it bears saying out loud that I do not come from an esports background. I am not a semi-pro. I am not a former pro in Rocket League, Overwatch, or Smash. My background is in entertainment and in education. That's all of my training. That's all of my experience. In fact, most of my entertainment background has been in music and has not been in audiovisual production, even though the last several years, a big part of my ent entertainment resume has included that. These boys got good at Rocket League without me. I tell them that often. They know how to play this game. It is my job as their head coach. It is my job to teach them how to care for one another, how to communicate, mm -hmm. how to engage with one another in conflict in a way that displays trust, commitment and accountability and to do that with a christ-like spirit we're a christian college here at ciu and we want to follow the commands of jesus we do that as best we can we use esports as another way to show care compassion competition and mm. candor while we're working on this team these guys know how to grind it is my job to set up the space to do that and you get to see the fruits of their hard work right here tonight Absolutely, and they are very, very good at showcasing that. Both gold and blue teams were, as I say every single time we end, end the streams, so proud of them, so proud of the program that has been built, and just very happy to be part of it. As we see Timex showing <laughs> that skill once again, getting his second of this game three. Now, see, that was a long shot from his half, and... Even at the champ two, this is a champ two, champ three average team, as is our blue team. But if all three players are cheating up on offense, that creates opportunity for players like Time X, 
who has peaked several times at Grand Champion 1 to capitalize on those sniper shots like that. He saw an open goal, and instead of carrying the ball down, he just launched a missile and waited for it to happen. Yeah, and he, that's a great way great way to kind of transition into this, that Timex, as we mentioned earlier, was part of that goal team. He He's used to playing against Grand Champ players. He is. He's, and, you know, he has the skill set to show that and the leadership to lead this blue team into what is now a 3-0 uh, victory at the moment for the CIU Rams in Game 3. Yeah, I've been very, very proud of Team Captain Campbell Miller, Timex trick shot here on screen. He shows up and works so incredibly hard. He loves JJ and Julian, their real names, by the way. And he works incredibly hard to showcase for them what a good player looks like and how to continue to improve. And I've been very, very proud of their hearts, their spirits, and just how they communicate with one another. They have not had an easy semester. And without oversharing details here, these guys have really overcome a lot in order to be here tonight and to perform this well. I'm incredibly proud of them. I love them. Glitch is midterm season right now, man. Oh, I've been there, today. man. <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> I know exactly what it's like to balance, you know, life, sports, um, midterms at that. And I, for one, I'm happy that that season of my life is over. And, you know, the, these guys are doing a very hard activity with all of that on the mind and you know to be up 3-0 and going on a a 2-1 uh series win right now as as it stands you, you got to tip the hat it's so typical well sometimes it's very very easy to underestimate your collegiate athletes and even mm -hmm. though esports is a non-traditional athletic program these guys are still scrimmaging two three four nights a week depending on the title and they have the, they had a double header tonight. Now they don't have a game next week in light of doubling up on this week. But Rocket League Blue will have three scrimmages this week, even in preparation for their games two weeks from now. And these guys are working jobs. These guys are studying. They're trying to maintain social relationships. I mean, they're they're trying to go to church and read their Bible and work yeah. and save money. Like, and here they are tonight, dominating Ashland in game three. Definitely, definitely. We love these CIU Rams. We cannot wait to see what tonight unfolds for them. A good shot on goal there from Ashland. JJ looking to get a corner play out of there. Overtaken by Sheev. Julian's looking for a big corner clear here. He gets it. Who's behind him? JJ for a little lob. Ashland just looking to stop the bleeding at this point. But the Rams say, no, we will take one more. Can he do it right here? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh time extra shot. Gets his hat trick. After the buzzer to add insult to injury, time X bringing this game. You got to love the dedication there. We're talking about their commitment to the game. We're talking about how they can compete. And you just love the dedication out of these guys to basically take what is being handed to them. They, This is not an easy opponent, as we've mentioned. We're going up against an opponent that we know that can compete. And setting the standards, setting that bar that, hey, we're not quitting even though the clock has three zeros on it. We are going to get another goal. Timex Trick Shock with his his hat trick, the MVP of Game Three. As we go into match point now for your CIU Rams. I just love watching this team work. Which they they have a spirit that you know, where I fail to be like Christ, I want to be like Rocket League Blue. These guys know <laughs> how to show up to work. They know how to lock it. They know how to mentally recover. Everybody, everybody watching this stream has, has played video games before, right? At least in some degree. You know what yeah. it's like to, to have a bad game, to, to lose, to get angry, to want to throw or break your controller. Oh, Not yeah. these guys, bud. Not these guys. They may feel that in their hearts for a minute, but they have learned and trained themselves to take a second, take a walk, and to recover their hearts and minds so they can lock in here. Glitch, they just lost a match before this one. Look at them now. It's a complete, complete 180 onto the other side. They are, they have bounced back in a big, big way and looking to close it out in this game right here.
Climax looking for the corner play. Silent Wolf always being there. He seems to be one of the faster players on Ashland Esports. Julian for a big clear. Silent Wolf crossing in front of goal. Slow roll. Can Julian set up a pass? Time X will give it a try. She will stop it. Keeps it back in play. Slow fall. Who's there? JJ contested by Silent Wolf. Julian keeping the ball in play. A good fake there. Blocking out a goal. Time X has some space to work. JJ's going to take over. You said his ground game is good. I'm eager to see what he can do here. Right there. Oh, <laughs> he gets past the guy. Yeah, he does. Good rotation from Ashland. But hey, time back trick shot. He's trying to get something going. A counterattack opportunity is here with the demo. Working on making it dangerous for JJ, who's got to open now. Oh, no. <laughs> we all know that feeling as Rocket League players. Oh, big time. <laughs> Big save there from Julian. Big bump there from JJ. That one felt personal. Some ceiling play there from Julian. JJ will keep it in. Silent Wolf giving it back to Time X for a slow pop up, causing Ashton to dump all of their boost. Perhaps a pinch that was a little too hard. Julian will give it a try. A little wide. JJ's turn in front of goal. Silent Wolf for a big clear on center. Thank you, Timex, for being there. Good rotations for your CIU Rams. Oh, great save from JJ there. Julian was there as well. This team rotates well. I'm, you know, they usually play the same time as gold. Me and Shorter are casting those the gold games. Don't get a real a real chance to watch these guys play. And when I watch Tom X's streams and him scrimming, I'm just so impressed by this team. Their comms are clear, crisp, they're clear. They rotate so well, and above all, they're disciplined. We, we've been praising them all night, but the discipline from a video game standpoint, from a game knowledge, is off the charts. I mean, they, these guys are at the right place at the right time, 100% of the time. Well, and think too, Glitch, about the mental that it takes to be right here. Like, yeah. we are, it, we're three and a half minutes into this game. No one has scored. This has been one ongoing play for nearly four minutes. A in addition to just your brain slowly turning to mush, but you eventually, <laughs> it is very easily tempting to get quiet. Ooh, slow shot on goal. Who can get there? We may have spoken too soon. Gabe 16, seizing an opportunity. Perhaps a miscommunication there from Timex to mm. JJ. JJ could have been higher to further accelerate that pass but it was set up in front of goal allowing Gieb to score for Ashland yep definitely we, we probably did speak a little too soon but hey the a right place right time doesn't isn't always an, a positive thing setting yourself up to bounce back sometimes is the best way to go and win a game you've seen it what it takes for your opponent to go and score a goal and I'll go right back and do it to them <clears throat> A little bit of ball play, losing control, Ashland does. Trick shot will toss it down the left side. Julian keeping it in play, performing like a good second man here. And a pinch to blue side. JJ looking for a good, good clear. Bumping Silent Wolf out the way. Can Julian capitalize? He does. Oh, he can! Oh, my God! <laughs> Go Rams! I thought, from our po point of view, we were we were with JJ. I thought that ball was so far in the corner that a shot was not coming. Julian comes out of nowhere and makes it 1-1 with 17 seconds left. He said, we're not going to game four. Or we're not going to game five. We're looking at ending it right here, right now. Just a few seconds away from overtime, unless our boys here can close the door. Oh, oh a swing and a miss from Time X. JJ is third, man. He will ensure that we go into overtime. 
And now remember, it is a golden goal rule for those watching at home. Whoever scores first wins. Oh, baby. Just like that Timex trick shot says, game point match. Oh, man, you love to see it. Winner, CIU. We love to see that on the screen at the end of match point opportunity. Now, Glitch, what a tremendous, tremendous night for Rocket League Blue. I can't, I can't even tell you. Guys, I'm so proud of you. Good job. Good work, boys. Way to recover from that first game. Glitch, these guys showed up ready to work. Now, I was here in the room with them after that first game. I was watching Gold. I was running the live stream. I was also watching another stream. I've got like four screens in front of me, man. My <laughs> head is spinning. My eyes are dilated. I haven't blinked in a minute. And I saw that blue team had lost. And I saw them all take a second and roll back. Captain left the room either to take a walk or get some water. They had to recalibrate. And they did. We saw them lose one game tonight. And they turned around and brought it back. Winning this second match set. This second game of their doubleheader. 3-1 to one against Ashland Esports. Tell me, did, did you have a favorite play glitch? What, what locks in your mind as a pivotal moment for this win tonight? I mean, hey... I mean, we got to go back to game four. Just what happened in front of our eyes just mere moments ago, Julian coming out of nowhere, 17 seconds were on the clock, mind you. that That's usually a time where, okay, guys, let's hands in the pockets. Game five, that's when we bounce back. But no, they kept going. Julian said, we've got to end this. And then Timex trick shot a mere 20 seconds later said, all right, game, game. I'm calling game, won the kickoff. Got got the ball inside the net. I mean, we we praised them all night long, and every single word is true. These guys did not quit, even when they were up in the series count. As you can see, they're starting to, to unplug and log out. Some of these guys have long drives home, and so I want to give them all the space that they can to, to get home safely, to work on their midterms, to work on their classes. Some of these guys uh, have some friends and stuff to go see, and I want to give them all that space. But great job, Rocket League Blue, winning the second game of their doubleheader tonight. I'm going to go high-five these guys, give them a hug. Glitch, thanks for speaking into this. Thanks for joining me. We should do this more, you and I. Absolutely, man. I love it. Well, listen, Ram fam, thank you for showing up to support your CIU Rocket League. My name's Crab Clown Jimmy. I'm head coach, and I've been commentating with you alongside this handsome devil glitch, <laughs> Grayson Holiday. Love you, man. Thank you for being one of the OG guys to support our eSports Rams. We're going to wave goodbye tonight. We will see you on tomorrow for Overwatch. We'll see you next time.